Today we are going to look at the relationship section. On your tablet or on Close.com for both people and companies, you'll see this section on the right side of your screen. On your iPhone and Android, you'll see this section under the About tab. Under the Relationship section, you'll see three areas. The first one is Stage. There are four stages. Not yet qualified. Think of this as a lead. Potential. Think of this as a prospect. Active. Think of this as an existing customer that you're working with. And inactive. This would be a customer from the past that you're no longer working with. Stages work in tandem with segments. So in this case, Janine is a potential customer. If you tap on the More dropdown, there are several other options you can choose from. All the segments you see there are customizable, and we have some custom slots for you too. The last section is Next Steps. These are optional and fully customizable. You can have as many steps as you would like. Think of these steps as a repeatable checklist that helps you keep track of what you've done and what you need to get done next. Let's take a look at how these can be customized. I'll tap on More in the lower left, then Settings, and then tap on Customize to expand the section. Here you will see all of the segments and the custom slots down at the bottom, one through five. Let's tap on the gear icon next to customers. First, I'm gonna make a change and call customer client. The point is you can customize these to anything that fits your business. Next, as I scroll down, you'll see the keep in touch settings. You can customize how often Close will remind you. Each stage and segment combination can have its own reminder schedule. Use the sliders to adjust your settings. So in this example, my potential client is set to one week. What this means is that if I'm not in touch with a potential client for seven days, Close will remind me on the agenda screen. It also means that if I speak with a potential client on the sixth day, Close won't remind me on the seventh day. Close only reminds you based on real interactions, not an arbitrary date in a calendar. If you scroll down a bit further, you will see next steps. As you can see, each stage and segment can have its own set of next steps. As I mentioned before, next steps help you keep track of what you've already done and what you need to get done next. I've already added several steps here, but I'm going to add a new next step for my potential clients. I tap on Add Next Step, and then type in the name of the next step. And hit OK. I can then rearrange the next steps as needed. You could certainly arrange your next steps in any order. But also know that if a client jumps ahead, you can also mark a next step off as done or select any step you would like. We aren't prescriptive, so you don't have to move through these steps sequentially. Next, I'll tap on the gear icon next to my new step. As you can see here, I can also set a reminder. I'm going to set it to three days so that Close will remind me to follow up on this step. When the reminder comes due, I'll see it on the agenda screen. You can go a step further and toggle on Customize Reminder. With this option toggled on, you can then customize the template that Close presents to you on the agenda screen so it matches up with the step. It saves you time and keeps you consistent. You can repeat this process of customizing your segments and adding steps as needed for all segments listed here. Now, if we go back to Janine, I can set her to my new next step. You now know how to customize segments, keep in touch reminders, and next steps. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please email us at support at close.com or check out our help center at help.close.com.